Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate a watermark logo in Premiere Pro 2022. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this folder on my desktop. And inside this folder, I've got my logo and I've got one video clip that I downloaded from the Pexels website. I'll put a link to that video clip in the YouTube description so you can follow this tutorial. So what we want to do is animate our logo inside of Premiere Pro, just to do a basic animation, like a little sort of logo overlay. Uh, we want to animate it as well at the same time. So let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. So I've got a blank project set up right here, and we're going to take the logo and the video clip and drag and drop that into our media pool here. So we've got the video of this lady you know, she's just relaxing on, on this uh, in this water, and then we've got the logo here as well. So I'm going to drag the picture up or the video clip onto the timeline first. So here we can see this little video clip. I'm going to click it once, move over to the. I'm going to actually select it, press Control C to copy it. I'm going to paste it here and just join them together, just to give us a bit more duration. I'm going to right click, and we will set the speed and duration and reverse it here. So we've just got the opposite now, so it's just moving in, in the opposite direction. This gives us a bit more on the timeline. I'm going to take the video, sorry, the uh, the logo, and drag and drop that onto the timeline. And I want to stretch it so it fits the full duration. Right, so now you can see the DCP logo here. And it's sitting on top and it's the full duration. But preferably, we would want that logo to be in the top corners or in the bottom corners over here. So I'm going to place it in the bottom right-hand corner over here. That's normally where you'll see a logo or maybe you push it into the left-hand side, right? It's up to you, it's your choice, but you can position it any way you want, but it's way too big at the moment. You can see it's quite large, so I want to size it first. So I'm going to click on the logo itself. Let's click on this top uh, this top um, content here, so we can select that logo, and we can click on the scale tool, and we're going to rescale it, so we're just going to shrink it down to around 26%, 25%. Okay, so now that the logo has been scaled, we want to move it. So we can go ahead and click on this text here called uh, position. So when we click on position, it gives us a little handles. We can click inside of our logo. We can move it into position. So you want it in the top, you can place it into the top corners, or you can place it into the bottom left or the bottom right. I'm going to place it into the bottom right-hand corner. And as we move across this timeline, this uh, logo is going to be fixed in that position, right? So you can see it's not moving or anything, it's in that fixed position. But we want to animate the logo, so we maybe want it to slide in slightly from the left and then maybe uh, fade it in and do certain things. And then while it's playing this video clip, maybe we want it to like, spin in a circle or shrink or grow or do certain things. Now we do those actions, let's call them actions for now. We do those actions um, within the section here, right? Within the tools here. So we've got position, scale, we can animate these, uh, these different elements within uh, Premiere Pro for the actual image. Remember, this is an image, a transparent PNG file for all my logo. So I might make that logo a little bit smaller. It's a little bit big, so let's just make it a little bit smaller. Let's go the other way. Let's make it like around, uh, let's say, this big, 23% uh, 23, 23 of its original size, right? So here it is. Here's the logo. And let's move to the beginning of the timeline. Now, when we click on this uh, the image here on the timeline at the top here. So if I click on it, it will highlight white. This is representing the same timeline, the full duration of this uh, image clip at the top. And we want to animate this. So first thing we want to do is really uh, fade the logo and maybe have it slide in slightly from the left. So maybe around this position, it's going to slide in. It's also going to fade in at the same time. So to do that, we want to change its position and we also want to change its opacity. So we're going to click on the uh, stopwatch here this animation toggle, right? So we'll click on it once. It's going to add a keyframe right at the beginning, right at the beginning. And we want to move just a few frames. So I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard. And as I'm moving across the timeline, you can see, uh, I want to move it to, let's say about 15 frames. So that's roughly about half a second. You can see zero, zero, 15, right? It's just easier to use the arrow keys to get, to be more accurate. Then make sure that you uh, move your mouse like in between this line here, make sure you stretch out this timeline a little bit or this, these tools on the left hand side here. Because sometimes if it's too close, it's overlapped and you can't click on these icons properly. So you need to make sure you stretch it out um, so that you can see this little dot here clearly. So you can click on that and that adds a second keyframe. So these keyframes don't have any information at the moment. They're just in their original state. So what we can do, there's a little white arrow here. Um, and this little white arrow allows us to move between the keyframes. So we need to actually stretch this out a little bit more. 
and you can click on this little white this little white arrow here this allows you to go to the first keyframe and this allows you to go to the next keyframe right so you can bounce between them this is just quicker than dragging the handle to that position so when you click on here we've got the position i want to move the logo to the left a little bit so i'm going to use this tool here this one right here to move the logo to the left and if you look at the screen over here you can see the logo shifted to the left a little bit so when we hit the space bar to play the logo will now slide in can you see that you can see the logo sliding in like this but we also want it to fade in we want it to slide in and fade in so let's go back on the timeline to the very beginning and we'll go to the opacity and we'll click the stopwatch here now to make things more accurate we're going to click on this little um, arrow key here and this little arrow will take us to this keyframe but it also positions the timeline so that we can add another keyframe here for the opacity right so the, the opacity and the keyframes are in sync you can say they're in the same position on the timeline so let's click the arrow back arrow here it doesn't matter if we click the top one or the bottom one it's going to take us to this first keyframe here for the opacity and let's set that value to zero this has got zero value so between these keyframes it's going to start at zero and get to 100 right opacity so when we click play you can see there's no logo here but when we play it will start to fade in and slide in at the same time now you can see it fading in and sliding in right fade in and slide in so that's what we want so the logo i want it to be static for a little while i just want it i don't really want it to do anything for a little while so i'm going to move across to like around three seconds right so here you can see exactly three seconds and we can do other things now now we can scale it we can rotate it now that you know how to use keyframes you can do all sorts of uh, stuff with the logo so let's let's try and scale it so we'll click on the stopwatch and we're going to put a keyframe here right so we'll click on this stopwatch there's the keyframe and we're going to move across 15 frames from this position so we're going to go to 315 so here you can see 315 written here and we're going to add another keyframe so we're just going to click here to add a keyframe so again there's nothing happening at the between these durations uh for the scale but we want to scale it down a little bit but then we want to scale it up again afterwards so the wise thing to do is to move 15 frames uh or move to four seconds here four seconds and we're going to add another keyframe here and we're going to go back to this middle keyframe to do that we'll click this arrow here that jumps us directly to the previous keyframe and we can change the scale now so let's scale it down a little bit to like this sort of size not too much let's say around here all right so if we move across our timeline to the beginning and click play the logo will slide in and that will shrink and grow right can you see it shrinking and growing but as as it's shrinking and growing as it gets to like this middle point here i also want it to rotate 360 degrees so it's going to kind of shrink and rotate and then grow again right so that'd be quite interesting to do that so let's do this so we want to go to rotation so what we'll do is click on this arrow this allows us to jump to this particular keyframe so now we can go to rotation and add a keyframe and we can go to click this option here this button here that takes us to this keyframe here and we're going to add another rotation keyframe All right and we want it to rotate 360 degrees so as it's f uh, shrinking in it's going to rotate 360 and then we want it to um, basically stop at 360. 360 will take it back to its original position. So here on this keyframe, we're going to enter 360. 360. So if we go back, in theory, we should see it rotate like this. Can you see? Right? And we can copy keyframes and replicate that process throughout the whole of the duration of uh, the video clip. But let's look at some other things that we can do for the moment. Um, really, these are kind of the key things that we, we, we can look at. But we can also, you know, move the logo up. We can move it to the top. So we could animate it to move it upwards. Or we can uh, reverse it and make it rotate in the opposite direction. So we could do something like that. So maybe what we do is select all of these keyframes. So I'm going to left click and select all of them. I'm going to press Control C or Command C on the Mac, so Control C on the PC to copy it. And I want to move across the timeline, but I don't really want anything to happen with the logo because everything happens on three seconds here. So we're going to let it be static for a little while. Let's get to around um, nine seconds, right? Around nine seconds here. So this would be 9.2. So we're going to use the arrow keys to be very accurate. So let's bang on nine seconds. I'm going to press Control V or Command V on the Mac. And that paste a copy of those keyframes. So now the actions will be exactly the same. So if we click play, we can see it rotates and does its thing. But in this case, I want to click on this arrow. So that takes me to this keyframe, uh, which is rotation, right? One times 
rotation, but I'm going to type in minus 360. So I want it to go in the opposite direction. So this time it's going to rotate in the opposite direction. So I think I did that on the wrong keyframe. Let's see. So on this keyframe, let's see, this one is set to, uh, let's see. So here it's rotating very, very slowly. We don't want that, right? So on this keyframe here, this one, let's just go forward. Uh, we're going to set it to 360. So between these durations, it shouldn't rotate, like between this gap here, right? Because the, this one's set to 360, and so is this one. But when it gets past that point, it's going to rotate in the opposite direction, 360 degrees. So let's just go to this keyframe, and it should be set to minus. Uh, in fact, we could set it to zero in theory. Let's set it to zero. It should rotate again, right? It will rotate. Here we go. Because we set it back to zero. It's going from minus 360 or 360 back to its original state at zero frames, right? If you set it to minus 360, it's going to rotate twice, basically, on the way back around. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's just click the play button so we can see the logo sliding and fading. It's going to rotate this way. It's going to pause for a little while, not do very much. And then it's going to rotate in the opposite direction like this. Right. And when, what we want to do now is as it gets towards the end, we want to fade that logo out. Let's go ahead and fade the logo out. What we'll do is um, go to the very end of the timeline. So let's grab this cursor up here and drag it all the way to the end. So it's right at the end of the timeline and we want to fade the logo out. So to do that, we want to add a opacity keyframe. So let's add a keyframe here and we want to go back 15 frames. So let's go back 15 frames. Uh, so we're on what, what frame are we? We're on 1507. So let's go back to 14. Let's call it 1420. Yeah, around 1420. And we're going to add a keyframe here. Add a keyframe. So between these durations, nothing's happening. But if we click this arrow, that takes us to the very last keyframe, and we set the opacity to zero. So between here, the logo will now fade out because we're told it's a fade out, right? But what would be nice if this logo faded out a bit early, because it's fading out quite um, right towards the end of the video clip. So what you can do is click on this, this one here, this keyframe, hold down the shift key and click on this keyframe. Now we selected both those keyframes, we can drag it in a bit. We want to drag it in a bit, yeah, somewhere to around here. So if we click play now, the logo will fade out and it, a bit earlier. We want it to fade out a little bit more early because uh, we want to fade this image, this video clip as well. So let's just do something with the video clip quickly. Let's go to the beginning of the timeline. And we know we've got a bit of space here. Let's just see. In fact, what we'll do is grab these keyframes. So I'm going to highlight all of them and select them. And I'm going to drag these forward a little bit. Right, because I want a bit of a gap to fade this, this video clip in. So you can see that the logo won't animate until a bit later. So move shifting these keyframes on the timeline up here will also shift when they actually activate or or, or they perform their, their task, let's call it, yeah? whatever we've assigned to them. And we can grab keyframes like these ones here. We can drag all of them to center out a little bit more to roughly around here. So kind of there's a gap here, there's a big gap here, and there's a little gap here between them, right? So we can kind of play around with uh, the keyframes to reposition them. We can always reposition our keyframes. So we, we left a gap here at the beginning because we want to fade this video in. So to do that, let's go to video transition, let's go to dissolve, and we do a cross dissolve at the beginning, right? Cross dissolve. So if we go back now, in fact, uh, we want to drag that onto the video clip itself, the video at the bottom, right? So now it will fade to black like this. And then our logo pops in. It's going to do its little spin thing, but we want to fade it out at the end as well. So we're going to drag one towards the end. So let's just watch what we've done so far. Uh, let's just save our work. We'll click play. You can see the lady relaxing. I wish I was there chilling out on the beach as well, or wherever it is. And the logo is going to do its thing. It's going to spin, spin in the opposite direction. And then at the towards the end, it's going to fade out and then the video will fade out. There you go. All right. So that's how we can do some simple um, logo animations. Uh, watermarks as well. We can call it like a watermark here directly in Premiere Pro. Uh, so we don't have to use After Effects or anything like that. We can do these simple animations directly in Premiere Pro. Um, so I think that's quite interesting that we can do that. And we can animate lots of different types of content. It doesn't have to be a logo. It can be other types of images. 
could be a palm tree you could pop a palm tree out here from the bottom right now that you know how to move content using the keyframing you can animate pretty much anything you can even animate another video clip on top of this video clip for example so there's lots of things you can do so it's time for you to now go and experiment and make a little nice little logo animation something like this um, and see what you can come up with what ideas you can come up with too so i'm going to save this work let's go ahead and minimize this and close this folder that's the end of this video tutorial showing you how to animate a watermark logo in premiere pro 2022 i hope you find this video tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial